And so I'm going to continue my build of a Controlio-based toaster oven slash reflow oven. Um, you can check out the first video. Uh, there's a playlist in my account. Please remember to like the video if you enjoy it and to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. So with that, let's get into it. So we've still got a box of fun. And I am following along with the Wizu build guide. So the next thing we need to do is we need to prep the wire. Now, you don't have to have a tool like this. And if you do, hopefully it's not as ragged out as mine is. But if you do have it, it will make your life easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these to here to power the um, transformer. And the easiest way to do this is to strip these with a wire stripper and it makes really nice strips. All right, and we're just gonna strip both ends about the same. All right. Now, if you like that, be sure to check out the description. I will post a link to one on Amazon that is value-driven like that one. You can also get them on eBay. And this is another tool that's really helpful to have. You know, there's, there's a number of these things out there. And what they do is they just simplify the process of crimping these. They're color-coded. And you should always pull on them to see if they work or not, like that one didn't. So I'll have to get another one to take its place. And that's kind of my big gripe with these style connectors is I just don't think they work. Worth a shit. So we're going to put that in there again, and now we're going to crimp down on it. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm not going to pull tight. I'm going to go get another one of those. I'll be right back. The ones in my parts box are not exactly identical. I actually like these a little better because they've got a protector. They've got a little sleeve over them. And they're a little tighter, which means I should get a better crimp. Yep, that's better. So now we got to get this on here, but first let's cut it in half. And then we need some pliers. Oh, there they are. I just don't have the hand strength to do this with my hands, so I'm using a pair of needle nose pliers, sort of needle nose. There we go. It's a tighter fit than I would really appreciate, but I think we can make it work. And see what we're doing. You know, this is just taking way too much force. So we're going to open this up a little bit. Uh, 
There we go. That really sucks, but it's on there. So, let's find the uh, shrink wrap and I'll bear it. So, like every other electronics enthusiast, I have about four million pieces of of shrink wrap laying around, so I can't find the stuff that should have come with kit. That's okay, I've got plenty. I think this will shrink down and be the right size by the time we're done. Make a little more space here. So we're gonna slide this over. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much this shrinks, but it shrinks a bunch. And in general, you want to just work this on, and that's good. We want this to be really tight. I know that might be a little too tight. Yeah, that's going to be too tight. Let me go get a different piece of it back. So I think this is six millimeter and this is half inch. So the solution to get around those is just to nip it. Just put a couple pieces that are smaller. Let's see what happens here. So if I was doing a bunch of these, I'd, I'd go and order like some eight or 10 millimeter tubing. Um, it, it comes in practically every size you can imagine. And that might be why, yeah, that that might, that might right there might be why they're using, he, or he's using that particular style. So one of the things we can probably do is maybe stretch it a little bit and enlarge it. Almost. So, oops. Where that other piece went, so we'll just start over with another piece. So while we're doing this, I've got this little tiny heat gun and it is explicitly for heat shrink tubing. And again, if you need one of these, I will link to it on Amazon. These are fantastic. And it doesn't draw that much power. And this is a lot better than using a lighter. Now there is a max that this will shrink, so if it doesn't quite shrink down enough, that's that's as good as it's gonna get. And this looks like that's as good as it's gonna get. Oh well, that's just 
just going to be what it is. So we still got to stretch this a little bit. being kind of mean to it trying to get it to open up a little bit so we can get it over this crimp on fitting here So that's as good as it's going to get. And then we're going to shrink a bigger piece over top of it and just call it a day. So that'll work. Let me see if I can find my fugitive. I did find it. I have no idea where it went. So what we're going to do is marry... I just don't like the way this looks. Now, there are different kinds of shrink wrap. And... Um, yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to get that over that. Oh, well, you know what? That's going to be fine. Um, so some of it has adhesive on the inside and some doesn't. I prefer the adhesive kind, but that's not what this is. Every once in a while, you'll catch Harbor Freight selling it in little kits, and it's usually a pretty good deal. You can also order it on AliExpress or um, eBay. This stuff's all pretty universal, so I wouldn't worry too much about buying it uh, in one of those venues. All right, there we go. So let me see what I need to do next. 